Hey, if you've heard of Scrivener, but its complexity kind of intimidates you, then you're in luck. I'm going to be breaking down Scrivener into little digestible bites so you can maximize the software to write amazing stories. Hey friends, let's talk about Scrivener, specifically the preferences window, the backup tab. And by talk, I mean I talk and you leave comments down below. Ask me questions or tell me about your favorite Scrivener features. So backup, oh my gosh, so important. And if you're not taking advantage of Scrivener's backups, then what are you doing? So backup is in preferences and all the way to the right, backup. So um, backing up your stuff is super important. All writers have had that moment of absolute sheer terror when you think that your project didn't save and you lost a whole chapter or a whole part or a whole book even. So keeping things backed up is really important. <laughs> so let's make sure we back up our stuff. So Scrivener has, uh, this is all defaults. Like I said, I usually just upload defaults. And Scrivener has this kind of fully automated backup system that keeps all of your creative stuff safe and sound somewhere. It defaults into like your users, library, application support, gosh. <laughs> Scrivener, so here's your Scrivener folder. Can I scoot this over? Dang it, it won't. Okay, this won't scoot over, whatever. And then um, in here into backups. So this is where all of your backups will go. And you can see I have a whole lot in here. So that's automatically where it will go. And if you want it to be somewhere else, you can change it to somewhere else. But that's as long as you know where that folder is, then you can go and you can find your backups. So turn on automatic backups. Please do this, please. Just turn on, leave on, because it automatically is this, uh, leave on your automatic backups so that um, if you ever have, you know, power surge or something like that, it, you've had these automatic backups running and it's okay, you can, um, you can recover your work. So you can back it up on Project Open, which I don't really understand that because you've already backed it up when you open it. So... Uh, that seems a little gratuitous to me, but on project close. So you can just close your Scrivener. You can just hit that button, red button and it will just automatically back it up. It'll automatically save it. You can back it up with each manual save you do. So every time you save it manually in here, it will back it up into that backup folder so that you need to save it there. Um, and then also back it up before syncing with mobile devices, just in case something goes weird with the sync uh, you have that backup um, just for safety. And then compressing your automatic backups as zip files means that the backup is slower, um, but I wanna say that that saves space if you zip it. That's just in like that little zip folder that you have to unzip later, but it saves space um, while it's just kind of sitting there. And then you can use your dates and your backup file names, which is good if, you, if that's how you organize, right? So that you know, oh, this was saved on October 29th, 2020, and this other one was saved on the 27th, so the 29th one is the most recent one, so I'm going to go with that one. Or I need to go back to the 27th because something got messed up in the 29th, so I can go back to the 27th. And then this here, just for safe space, for space saving, only keep this many current backups, and it only let you save a total of 25. I feel like five is probably good though. Um, because it, especially if you're taking advantage of snapshots. So if you're using the snapshot feature, then keeping five of the most recent backups just means that you can go back and then use, you know, um, convert those snapshots into old, even older stuff. And then here, the backup location, I have it blanked out here, but just because I have a lot of weirdly named, um, locations. So anyway. <laughs> But I already kind of showed you that. And then to open your backup folder, here it is. There's the backups. And that's it for backups. Please, honestly, please, 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 please do the automatic backup. That's one of the great things about Scrivener um, is this automatic backup thing. And just keeping it going and making sure this is set up appropriately, especially the like, save space because you don't want to save, you know, if you save 25 of your most recent backups and you're, you're using Scrivener for a lot of pro, um, different projects, you're going to run out of processing space on your, on your computer and um, that's going to be a nightmare. So um, 
I like five, even just three, especially like use your snapshots, be smart about your snapshots. And, um, and then you'll have them, your snapshots backed up. So you can have all kinds of different options for going back and retrieving alternate versions of something. So yeah, there we go. Thank you for tuning into this very short video, especially very short compared to like these, these over here, they were really long. So thank you for tuning in and I hope you learned something new and I hope you are turning on your automatic backups and are backing up and saving and all kinds of stuff, your, your work, because there's nothing worse than typing up a beautiful book and then losing either part of it or even the whole thing, like horror of horrors. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Wash your hands, Black Lives Matter, and have a nice day.